hey guys welcome back to this channel if you are new here my name is chris aka the it guy and i'm super excited to show you this video today and today i'm going to show you how to make a bootable mac os ventura usb by using simple steps that i'm going to show you if you don't know what mac os ventura is the mac os ventura is now the current blaze of mac it is in beta version but it's worth trying that's the reason why you have to know on how to make a bootable drive so as you can install on your disk so as to make uh, some look around and you can see if it's worth it to switch to and once they release the beta version you will use the same processes to make a bootable usb drive like i'm going to do and without further ado let's go ahead and see what we will need to do this one first thing that we will need we will need a, a working usb drive in this case i'm going to use my external hard drive because the image file is quite heavy and it needs like 32 gigabytes of hard disk or the flash drive if if you have a, a flash of 32 gigabytes it can work better as this is now working on my external hard drive and the other thing that we will need is now the image file and as we are seeing on my desktop i have this folder named images and i have the image for uh, 13 and as you are seeing it's now in the beta version and first thing first uh, we're going to open our applications by going on here and go on go and go on applications and once i'm in applications i can come and pick up this image and drag and drop in the applications and it will let me drag it again it was over a nap and let me put like this one and it will be moved in there too and you can see that it's no longer in my image files but it has came in the application and uh, the next thing that we have to do is to erase our bootable drive so as to be able to install on the screen a bootable device and make sure you make a backup of your files that can be contained on that drive because they will be overridden and you have to avoid losing your important data that is the reason why you have to do a backup and in the search i'm going to type this uh, utility like this one and then uh, we have to click on here to go to the disk utility and to show you the list of the disks that you have on your computer and in this case to have this this is now the volume that contain uh, the operating system and other files and this is now the external volume that i'm going to format so i'm going to click on LAs and where it is written a usb you can call it mac os like this one it doesn't matter on how you call it as long as you remember the name so i'm going to click on LAs and it doesn't take long as I'm saying, it is now about to be done. So let's give it a shot and wait. And now it's complete. So go ahead and click on done and close all this. We don't need this for this time. And I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, terminal here. And I'm going to open the terminal. And once I am the terminal, there is now a command that I'm going to paste in here. I have it on my clipboard, so I'm going to paste it in here. But don't worry, I will leave this in the description. And you can go and access the download link for this image uh, too. So make sure you, you, to ch you check out the description. And where it's written Ventura, you can go ahead and write the name of the USB drive that we, we erased, which is now the Mac OS, like this one and leave a bit of space like this and it's a one space of course and once you are in here go ahead and press enter and it will ask you for the password of course i'm going to put my password in and you have to put yours too and press enter and in this case we see that there there is a problem it made a problem so we have to check again in the application if now the uh, this uh, mac os is in there so we have to go in the applications again and you check if it is in there let's see if it didn't go in the other folder and you can see now it is not here so let's have a quick look and see where we copied it all right so let's try again bring this command like this and press enter and put your password and to erase the disk as you are seeing like this one and so let's wait as you can see now it is now 
uh, it will name to Mac install Mac OS 13 beta and I'm going to wait for these processes to be done they take like 15 minutes or 20 minutes but for the sake of making this video very short and then it I'm going to speed up so as to be able to save time because I don't want this video to be, this video to be boring of course so I'm going to speed up I will come once this is complete you will see a lot of processes on my screen and you have to wait for this I will come back when this is done all right and you can see that now our processes are complete so now it's time to get in the party so now it's time to get into the party and <laughs> try to boot this and see what your brings i hope it will work as expected so without further ado let's go ahead and see on how to boot from this bootable media drive that we did and i hope we are receiving the same message let me know in the comment if you are getting the error guys so let's go ahead and give it a shot all right and now as you can see now i have this uh, usb which is now attached to my external hard drive that i use to make the ventula bootable macros and i'm going to try to turn it uh, to turn it to turn on i'm trying i'm going to turn on my mac and i will do that and hold the option key i will press and hold it until i hear that sound and it keep on holding and you wait until all the bootable devices now appears here and as you are seeing let me try to put it in the focus you can see that i have now my mac os hd which is now the current a uh, bootable hard drive that is in my mac and also there is this little guy here which is now the install mac os 13 beta and i'm going to go ahead and use the allow key to navigate through this and press enter and in that case the installer will start and i want to continue with the install as well to show you how it look like guys so don't um, don't get twisted when you see now it's taking like a bit i didn't want this video to be long but for the sake of showing you guys that this will work as expected i will have to wait for these processes to be done so let's give it a shot Alright guys, now this is now how the boot screen of this Mac OS 13 uh, Ventura look like and you can see that you can install from here or you can use the disk utility to make a clean installation but we are not going to do any of that you will continue with that uh, once you feel you are ready to test this beta version but uh, I will have to install this when the stable version will be out so as to avoid any errors on my disk so go ahead and try this and enjoy yourself i hope you guys you find this video very interesting and useful let me know in the comment if you met with any problem uh, click that like button and make subscribe if you are new here and turn on the bell icon to get more videos like this one and from now on till next time i will see you guys in the next one peace